Hello everyone, my name is Shubham and today we are going to discuss one important machine coding question in React. How to build a star rating in React. So let's get started. Let me first create the React project by using Vite. You can use a create React app. I prefer Vite. So no issue about that. Let me name the project the star rating and select React JavaScript. Yeah, it has been created. Let's let go inside of this project and open it in VS Code like this. Cool. Okay. So let me get rid of all the default files, default styling as well in app.css. In index.css, I'll just remove this part. Cool. And uh, remove an app.jsx as well. Let's give it as a star rating for now. Remove this use state part and all React logo. Cool. Now let uh, me install the dependencies by using this yarn. Uh, it will take a couple of minutes. So yeah, it is done now. Let me uh, start the development server over here. Uh, here it is. Cool. Uh, let me give uh, some sort of padding as zero initially, margin as zero. Cool. And let's see, yeah. So what we are gonna do is, and let me add some basic styling of um, display flex. Justify. Sorry. Just if I count in a center and a line right in the center, yeah, it is in mid, it is in middle now. And let's add some margin top of 20 pixel. Yeah, cool. Let's add font size of uh, maybe 25 pixel. Yeah, it's proper, right? Mm, let's give 30 pixel. Cool. So let's add our star by using hex code I don't know if it will work uh, 9337 no it is not working uh, hex wait uh, HTML or a star yeah nine seven three three cool nine seven three three let me check yeah it is coming properly let's add uh including five stars yeah it is proper uh and let's add uh, some sort of a, a rating count as initially as zero yeah let me style this properly and uh, before that Let's put this stars in inside one div and uh, uh, this part is kind of repetitive in nature. Let me remove this and what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add a new array of size let's say 5 and we are going to put it in a square bracket and spread it inside this so that we can map through it. Uh, and we are not going to take anything uh, from this array because all the values are going to be undefined right now. We are just interested in the index and looping through all five values. So let me put this inside and we are going to return it. I think it will work fine. Yeah. So React will complain for the key part. So let me give a key as index. By the way, um, like react documentation itself recommends not to use index as key but for now uh, let's use it uh, as a key because there is no other uh, value to differentiate between each and every span so okay so uh, cool let's now add some of the styling properly uh, display flex uh, let me add flex direction as sorry column I think it will work yeah cool 
so uh, for every star to take a uh, different color when we are going to click on it that's our mo uh, motive behind this project cool let's test it out let's give a color to uh, each and every span uh, let's say yellow yeah it is taking a uh, yellow color properly let's not take the yellow uh, mix it a bit i think this is fine cool so what is our motive behind this project whenever we click on any of the stars or uh, when we hover on any of the stars it is going to take the color of this orange cool for now uh, let comment this part and yeah it has a default color so what do you think what we are what we should do next so there should be some uh, some sort of a value to a state how many stars we have selected right anyway first let give each and every stars as a curse a pointer cool now we should have our cursor to each of the star cool so let's add one new state in here um let me name it as um, i'm very bad at naming this selected star maybe count yeah selected the star count and initially it would be zero cool and replace this zero as selected star count so yeah what what do you think uh, we should do next we want on click of every star we want something to set in our selected star count cool let's add on click handler and we should set our selected star count to something we have index in each of our star correct so if we go ahead and do index plus one since index is starting from zero and set it as this and save the file if we are going to click see this rating count if we are going to click third star it is showing as three on second it is going to show as two so now what we want is whenever we click on two until two there should be a yellow color or some sort of orange color what we have just seen a few minutes ago there should be uh, uh, this stars should be colored as yellow or orange until two correct so let me do that we will add some sort of a, a class name let's say selected so whichever star is going to have the selected class name it will be colored with this particular color orange or whatever this is cool so whenever we select this and uh, let's try something out uh, give each span as class name and uh, using back tick and whenever I repeat whenever index sorry whenever index is less than or equal to selected star count what we are going to do is we are going to add one class name as selected cool otherwise we are going to add nothing let's see if it works or not if we are going to click on 2 okay it is not working let me inspect the element okay it is taking in this shape so it should not take this shape uh, oh my bad this should be inside this my bad so let's test it out yeah okay this is acting well so let me add index plus one i think yeah it is working fine see so why it is working fine see index dot index plus one will return the exact number of uh, star that means if we are going to click on this particular star it will uh, spit it out as index plus one as two correct 
so if it is less than or equal to our selected star count then it will going to add uh, the selected class name and if it is uh, if it any span has selected class name it it is going to add this color cool this was the logic behind this so i think we have completed one part so of now we have completed our first part of the project so let's move ahead and uh, complete let me format the yeah so now what is our next goal we want that when we hover on any of the stars we should get that particular color until this particular star until third star correct so to get that we have some event like on mouse over i mouse over or mouse down yeah mouse over cool and on mouse out as well yeah so what we are going to do is we are going to fire one function on each of the event handlers we will select <coughs> we will uh, select the star count again passing it as index plus 1 something similar what we have done earlier and when we uh, like when we are done with uh, hovering over over each and every star when we hover in it will set the star count as 2 and when we hover out it will run this particular function cool so what we are going to do is we are going to select this star count again and we will make it as 0 taking the color of the stars to the default one correct let's test it out see it is working fine right but wait uh try clicking on this it is not working i am clicking see it is not working fine you know why because we have used the selected star count uh for both the cases on click event as well on hover as well so when we are uh, when we hovering out from each of the star it is setting our initial uh, selected star count as zero so we are going to need another set of use state um uh, uh it should be named as uh, i i don't know like selected uh, hover star count as something like that it when again it will again uh, be initialized as zero and instead of uh, setting selected star count we should select a selected hover star count this as well yeah so let's check this right now okay it is not taking shape yeah click functionality is working fine but not for the hover part uh oh yeah i have added this particular logic for like selected hover star count as well so we need to add that instead of selected star we are going to write as selected hover count see now it is working fine correct <clears throat> let me uh write this again and this time hover rating count should be selected hover star count mm, let me wrap it inside p yeah we wrap this also cool okay so let me hover it again yeah see hover rating count is increasing as we hover and hover out and whenever we click on something it will uh, reflect in the rating count cool so this is an important interview question for machine coding round and uh, i hope it will help in the, in your next interview or in your next round so i think we are done here and uh, yeah we are done here so that's it for this video if you like my contents then please uh, share it among your linkedin connections and subscribe to this channel i'm going to upload some more machine coding questions like this such as uh, you know how to create react hook to fetch a data from an api uh, how to create a stopwatch in react 
counter or a, a movie app in react using context api so, uh, sorry use context hook so yeah see you in the next time bye